When I logged into the new Hex VR update for the first time and met up with the people in multiplayer, one of them, who was apparently on at 1 a.m. in the morning his time, told me that the developers had either found or tested their theory successfully that you could actually leave the Hex VR map in a very unique and interesting way. And in doing so, they ended up allowing access to a bunch of interesting things found on the outside, which I will talk about in this video. So here's how and why to leave the Hex VR map. The how is pretty simple, despite being a bit confusing. The solution turned out to be to go to the edge of your boundary in real life, walk in the game into the wall, and then use the joystick to turn the largest part of your boundary to where it faces outside of the arena. Once you have successfully done that, press the button on your headset once very quickly to enter a miniature sleep mode, which will leave you in the game, but the game will stop receiving inputs. Once you've done that, walk as far as you safely can to the other side of your boundary, and then press the button again. The game will then register that you have moved, but it won't register that you move through a wall. So from everyone else's point of view, you will teleport through the wall and will be on the outside. So now you know the how, but what about the why? Well, the first thing you'll probably see when you go in will be the credits that are below the arena, which probably meant that this was planned to be able to get out of the map. And then you realize that the map, you can actually see through it, and that you could theoretically do VRML style recording from outside, which will be awesome once it fully works. Next on the list of interesting things is the remains of one of the old arenas that they used to have up here, and which is now left as an easter egg for people who can actually play the game to find. And for some reason, it just feels a lot more natural to move around. Maybe it's just like the effect when you grab something, or I don't know. But I really like this area, and it will factor into something later. Many things later, actually. As for the other things in the background that you see out through the windows, we have the pillars and the fog. The pillars have no collider, so you can only fly through them. The fog also houses no secrets, except for a few strangely colored things that I really think it would be really funny to just, in one update, secretly add colliders to shock someone who finds it, as I said in my last video. And you can also see the patches of green that comes from the area with the mountains, which everyone must explore. Luckily, it doesn't take too long to get to the mountains, but if you're going alone, it will feel like it takes forever. Once you're there, you will find out that there is no way to actually grab onto the floor, although you will hit your head, and you will find a creepy green hex unit. Wait. I don't actually have any source that anyone has ever gone to the other mountains, but a person that I met on hex was planning to create a mountains racing game, so that could be in the future. It has now also become a thing to take the disc out of the arena and bring it into the old arena and mess around for a while, but no one seems to have a dependable way to actually get the disc out of the arena, it just seems to be up to luck, so if you can find a way, please share it. Another important thing to note is that you can actually walk back through, as long as you don't grab anything, back into the Echo Arena, but you can't get out without the glitch. So. Be careful when you're traveling around the arena. And I believe that is everything found outside of the map. If you found something else that wasn't covered in this video, please comment it on this video, and like, subscribe, you know the drill. And that'll be all for today. Thanks for watching, everyone.